There we go. Hi, everybody. I'm Michael Nolan, and uh, I'm tired of fat people starving to death. I know it sounds like I'm being a smart ass, and I'm not really being a smart ass. It's actually kind of serious um, because there's people starving to death and they're eating too much of the wrong stuff. It wasn't always like that. Back in the 50s, June Cleaver used to spend all day at home cooking dinner. Um, and thanks to Valium, you know, she was able to do that. But <laughs> then came the baby boomers. And uh, somewhere along the line, they got in a hurry. Obviously, it was after this picture was taken. Um, they were too busy to climb the corporate ladders to pay attention to what they were putting in their bodies and on their plates. At some point along the way, we stopped fueling our bodies. We started filling them with a bunch of supersized crap. And uh, it was the colorful packaging, I think, that probably did it for all of us. But in one generation, childhood obesity has tripled. One in three children in this country is overweight or obese. It's not a coincidence that it's the same generation that fast food took over everywhere. Um, what happened is that 80% of obese people are going to deal with high blood pressure. Half of them are going to deal with high cholesterol. 60% of them are going to deal with type 2 diabetes. But that's not all. Heart failure, heart disease, stroke, gout, arthritis, everything you see up there, all of that is going to be more likely for somebody who's obese. But you can take a pill for it, right? We are the medication generation, after all. That's right to an extent, but have you watched a pharmaceutical commercial lately? You hear one thing, you know, it's, you're taking a pill for that one thing, for high cholesterol, but you've got 30 things. There's a 45 second commercial, and 40 seconds of it are the things that's gonna kill you. It's called a misplaced priority. We wanna take a pill to fix the problem. It's kinda like this. We live in a society that'll spend $200 on a pair of shoes, but we're gonna eat lunch on the dollar menu. We spend more money and more time, more thought about what goes on our body than what goes in our body. Hollywood creates a body image issue. Yeah, sorry, you know, I had to throw a, a self-portrait in there. We've got these self-image these self -image issues because Hollywood has told us that that's what we're supposed to look like to be popular or to be good looking. And then we've got people that look like that. They're the farmers who are growing their own gardens. They're the ones who are raising their own chickens and you know, getting their own eggs. They're not cool because the cool people are eating the cool food from McDonald's or Jack's. Let's look at three questions real quick. Are you fat? How much physical exercise do you get in a week? And going back and forth to the refrigerator, taking the trash out, doesn't count as physical exercise. Number two, how much sugar and salt do you consume in a week? And before you answer that question, think about how many sodas you drink and look at the sodium content. And even if you're eating diet frozen food, flip it over and look at the nutrition information because there's a lot of sodium and sugar in all that stuff even when you don't know it. Number three is probably the most important. Are you willing to change number one and number two to lose weight and improve your health? Because if you're not willing to make those changes, there is no diet plan, there's no pill, none of it's gonna work for you. It will not make you healthier. Gardening. It might not seem like the cool thing to do, but uh, I actually just wrote a book about gardening. That's what I do for a living. I'm a writer. And it, believe it or not, is becoming more cool because local eating is what's saving a lot of people's lives. Um, I raised my own eggs. I lived in a farm until just a few weeks ago. Raised my own eggs. No recalls, no salmonella, no problems about that at all. And I also raised my own bacon. Local as you could get, right in the backyard. His name was Rudy. He was actually really cool, and he was not ever eaten. Just, you guys have to know that. Uh, <laughs> I love that pig. Okay, a bit, an important point here. I'm not telling you that you should not eat a burger. Eat what you want, but you need to pay attention to moderation. Moderation is, I think, where we've fallen short in this country. We're all or nothing. If you eat a burger, that's fine, but don't think that a bag of chips is gonna be okay if you ate a salad for a couple of days. Here's the recap. Less fast food and junk food, more locally produced fruit and vegetables and meats, less couch potatoes, more growing potatoes. And that's my website, uh, budgetmealguy.com. If you need to get in touch with me, that's a whole bunch of ways to do it. Uh, once again, I'm Michael Nolan. Um, I'm 
a little overweight. I'm not quite fat, and at the moment, I'm not starving to death, but I do want another Guinness. Have a good night, guys. <laughs>